it's easy to say rock music's worthless, but to, to, to so many people it isn't. Otherwise we wouldn't be here doing this now. You know? Formed in 91 um, at the Poly in Nottingham. Me and Sam met at a, a gig, we used to photograph bands. And um, Sam got him in. And we had a different bass player then. And these two jerks joined. I think as a band we've always like believed in the, like, the electric guitar and the way it should be played and we, with our band we always wanted to inject, especially with this last record, we wanted to inject a bit of anger into the way the electric guitar is, is in British music, you know. At the moment we wanted to get something back into, into it. <laughs> about really putting putting the ACDC back into British rock music, I guess. The first band that I really fell in love with was the Bee Gees. After like, you know, listening to stuff like the Wombles and that. Kind of that was the next step up. And then I went from listening to the Bee Gees to listening to like the Sex Pistols, like overnight. I like bands like Captain Beefheart from that, uh, unusual guitar sounds and things like that, which uh, sort of scratchy. Sounded like they were kind of played badly, but they were played bad and they played beautifully. Like, <coughs> things like that, slide guitar stuff. We used to have a little Casio keyboard and we used to tape it down with some gaffer tape. There was always just a drone going off in the background. And then James used to come and watch our gigs and he said, let me join the band and then I can turn the gaffer off and I can actually move it to a different drone then. You can play songs in different keys. And all of a sudden he got a saxophone out, came along with a hammer and spoiled everything. We were, <laughs> we were having a great time we were going on tour with this little Casio keyboard, some gaffer tape on it. When we first started out, um, I mean, from the idea of the keyboard with the drones and everything like that, was from listening to... Spaceman 3, big Spaceman 3 fans, and spiritualised. We got two cars in a caravan, you know, and, and drove over to Germany and toured there for two months on, on our own until everything broke down and fell apart. And, like, hitching back to sign on and stuff. The tyres went on the caravan and we had to come back to England. We came through customs wheeling bloody tyres. The ferry, we had a couple of tyres. Coming off the <laughs> And then we got to leave all the gear in Germany, so... Yeah, we're in England. We got stranded, we had to leave all that. Backline and PA and everything. It's only a hundred quid PA. Sleep with me. Stay away. Came back from Chris, really, from uh, sampling something from somewhere. And and then we just built the song around it fairly quickly, really. Piano Scream and Asian Dub Foundation, bands like that, I guess. Kind of relate to what those bands are doing and, and I think it's great what they're doing but other than that <coughs> I mean I really like doves but I mean that that's kind of a different thing with you. Yeah, with you. Just a 
beautiful song, and it's um, it's like a pool, it's like swimming underwater, and uh, everything about all the instruments have kind of got a weird tremolo-y, watery feel to them, and it, uh, it's, it's like drowning, and that's about it, really. It really, is it? No, I'm serious. That is it. Things in a lot of the interviews that we've done, they tend to pick up on the negative side that we've that we've talked about, and where where we come from, and you know, yeah, I mean, that goes <coughs> as, as that. But there's also you know, thriving, you know, club and music scene in Nottingham. You've got earache records there, and you've got like DIY, and that was kind of what was going on when we were trying to get this band together. So there was like this this mad thrash metal, and then there's dance music, and uh, and then there was us. And we were trying to be kind of like. Spaceman 3 meets Neil Young in the middle, you know. But now I think there's people kind of in Nottingham looking at 6x7 and trying to sort of get bands together. It's just uh, getting up off your ass and doing it. Just really got into trying to use some different rhythms and. Uh... It's, it's got a dance element to it, hasn't it? It's yeah. got a real dance element, um, which is something which I'll, we want to continue with. Really. Yeah, managed to incorporate big guitars that we already have, but try and use some more interesting rhythms. It's kind of like a Verna. Herzog theme with Klaus Kinski singing. Yeah, we've always played like loud and with you know all the instruments up to full volume. We've never, you know, been shy of doing that. And it's not something that we're so everyone says oh, this is a new thing and all that. It's like, well, but, you know, I've been doing it for years. So. And we're, yeah. just, we're just learning how to put it onto record. We're just learning how to record it properly and get it to sort of launch out the speakers and, you know, tear your head off, basically. Well, there's that famous interview with Pete Townsend uh, where he says you know you can't beat the power of sheer volume in, in, in what in what they were doing at the time and what they wanted to do was go into a pub and a club same venues that we're playing now and make sure that right back to the bar there was you know you couldn't talk you had to focus on the band and the band sucked you in to what they were doing with their energy and that's what we've always tried to do. Shouting, up, shouting out at the moment, kicking out, and there should be more. But those bands are having trouble, you know, they can't get playlisted, there's no room for them. <clears throat> but they are there. I think 6x7 is about going out and blowing people away live, you know. This is, let's be honest, we didn't spend our day, you know, weeks and months 
twiddling, tweaking the songs and stuff. It was written, slammed down, and that was it. I think that's kind of probably more the direction that we should head in, you know. If, yeah, I'm using, to be, so. using the technology, using it, you know, sense and, or sense and more effects. But you know, still get it's going to be having that guitar element there. Yeah, you've got to have that raw play energy. energy. Yeah. Just the basis of what we do as well. Nate Well has always been the basis of what we do. So it'll always be there. But for God's sake, can we see us live? Because that's, that's where it's at. That's how we've always had to um, fight our corner, you know.